This video will show you how to create predecessor task relationships in your project schedule in the Inspire Planner. Task relationships indicate when a task should begin or end in relation to other tasks. In this project, we have two predecessors set. So for the task in row three, our predecessor is row two, that task. And then the type of relationship is start to start. So that's why we see that code SS. And then the next predecessor that we have set is for the task in row four. We've defined the task in row three as the predecessor and the type of relationship is start to finish, SF. To add a new predecessor relationship, just double click in that field for the task, type in the row number of the predecessor, and then type in the code for the relationship and I'm going to type in FS for finish to start. Notice that my code disappeared, and that's because the code will not display for the default relationship type, and finish to start is our default relationship type. The code will display for the other three types of relationships. So in addition to start to start and start to finish, we also have finish to finish, and that will display with an FF code. You can also enter multiple relationships in for one task. So you just click on the field and type in the predecessor row number and the type of relationship and then a semicolon. So use a semicolon to separate the relationships. And then I'll type the next one and save it. And now I have two relationships that are set. To delete a relationship, just double click on it and delete it out of the field. Also, if you don't feel comfortable just typing in the row number and the code for the relationship, when you double click on a field, you can click on the pencil icon and it will open the task information window. Just click on the predecessor tab and then click on add and you'll be able to choose your predecessor task from an alphabetized list of all of the tasks in your project. So you just choose the task, choose a type. So if you double click here, you'll be able to choose that type. And then you can also set a lag time if you need to. Then you just click apply and it adds that predecessor for you. So I've made some changes and that's noted with this little red indicator on the fields that I've changed. Don't forget to save your plan when you're ready to exit so that those changes get saved. Just click on that save project plan button in the menu in the left pane.